plus let's take the example of ethanol itself because like uh, that's something we just did Now we know that this is the standard enthalpy change of formation of of ethanol. Yeah. Now we can calculate this by using the standard enthalpies of combustion of all these compounds. So I'll tell you how. Because if you know, carbon will uh, ox carbon will combust to give carbon dioxide. because they are two so two H hydrogen combusts to give water and ethanol combusts to give both carbon dioxide and water so the combustion products of both sides are the same now oxygen cannot combust because you if you react oxygen with oxygen there is no combustion taking place so the standard enthalpy change of combustion of oxygen is zero so this uh, let's take this as delta H1 and this has delta H2 so it's actually really easy to calculate the standard enthalpy change of combustions because uh, all we need to do is measure the measure the amount that is burnt and the temperature change and we can then use Q is equal to MC minus MC delta T to calculate the enthalpy change so this is delta H1 this is delta H2 now delta H2 is simply the standard enthalpy change of combustion of the standard enthalpy change of combustion of ethanol and okay so this is delta H2 delta H02 because one mole of ethanol is being burnt in excess oxygen to form these now um, the standard enthalpy change of uh, the, the, the delta H1 sorry delta H1 is equal to 2 into the standard enthalpy change of combustion of carbon because the standard enthalpy change of combustion applies to the burning of one mole of a compound so if if you are burning two moles of a, of a substance no not a compound sorry if you are burning two moles of a substance then we'll have to multiply the standard enthalpy change of combustion by 2 of of carbon plus 3 into the standard enthalpy change of combustion of hydrogen because we are burning three moles of hydrogen This is so now we have delta H2 and we also have delta H1. Now let's make our vector triangle just to make our life simple. This is let's take this as A. Let's take this as B. Let's take this as C. So we can see we, what we what we realize is that again B is equal to A plus C. This means that delta H1 is equal to, if we apply this this triangle to this one, to the his, his cycle over here, then delta H1 is equal to delta H naught F plus delta H2. What we want to find is delta H naught F, so we make that the subject. This is what we get now we know what delta h1 is delta h1 is this and we know what delta h uh, we know what delta h2 is that delta h2 is this so we can easily calculate the enthalpy the standard enthalpy change of formation of ethanol using this cycle now let's do one more example so let's say we have uh, an anhydrous salt Na2S2 O3 and it is being hydrated by five water molecules to give hydrated Na2S2O3 which is Na2S2O3 dot 5 H2O liquid so we know that this in sorry not liquid again this will be solid I'm really sorry it's a hydrated solid 
so hydrated solid is is a solid only not a liquid so this is the this is the